do we really think about a drill when we're drilling a hole and what goes on? I don't think we do. We're up there at 30,000 feet and we're looking down. We can't see what goes on down there in that hole. Let me show you, there's a lot that, that's happening. We don't even give it some consideration and we need to do that. Let me show you what's happening. Take the drill bit. You know, not a very good drill bit, but you get the idea. What goes on right there? Think about the pressure. When you're pulling down on that drill press and you're drilling that hole and that chip's coming out of there, maybe blue hot, yellow hot, red hot, who knows? But there's all that activity going on there and that drill is taking a punishment. There's a toll on this tip. If you don't push hard enough, you're not being very efficient. You push too hard, you're going to destroy the drill. The temperatures down there are enormous. And we're going to take in a back in a little bit. We're going to talk about that. We're going to show you what that's all about. But this part right here, I'm going to blow that up a little bit. Right here, when it goes down inside that hole, the temperatures down there in that hole are enormous to the point where you're going to be surprised and we're going to take you out in the back and we're going to show you exactly what that temperature is all about. How are we going to do it? Well, we can't do it when the chip's coming out. Why? Because the chip cools too fast, so we can't take the temperature. But we can replicate it. We can take a block of steel and we can heat it up to the same color. Remember we talked about gold and we talked about blue. So we'll heat it up to gold, we'll heat it up to blue, and we'll take our electronic thermometer, we're going to zero in on it, and we're going to show you what the temperatures are all about. Let's go in the back and let's check it out. Here goes the first hole for us. I want you to take a look at the color of the chips. Watch how they change color now. See how they're turning gray and ultimately blue. And you see those blue chips coming out of there, baby? They are hot. I don't know what the temperature is, but in order for the steel to turn dark blue like that, or gold, they're hot. Now that's without cooling. Now we're gonna take Take a good look at that. The drill bit itself is not burned up, which tells me that the amount of stock we were removing was okay. The drill bit still is sharp, and I don't see the bottom of it being burnt. When the bottom is burnt, that means that either the drill is dull, or there's too much pressure, you're removing too much stock. So it's never a good thing to see the drill bit get blue. That gives you an idea of the difference in what it takes to cut with cutting oil versus without it. You probably noticed it was a lot quicker to drill the hole with cutting oil. And it also, not only does it lubricate it, but it keeps it somewhat cool, which is pretty important. I don't know what the temperature is down there when you're at, at the point where it's working, but I can tell you this, that it's going to be very, very hot uh, when it's blue like that. My guess is it's upwards in several hundred degrees, and I don't know that for a fact, but that would be my educated guess. You can't get blue chips out of there, gold-colored chips, without them being uh, extremely hot. Right at the very tip of the drill, remember, it's removing the metal. It's almost melting it to get it out of there. So that's not quite what it's doing, but it's close to it. So that's, that gives you an idea of what it's like to drill. All right, safety first. We got the goggles, got the fire extinguisher. Remember we said early on about getting down from 30,000 feet and looking down in the work area. This is what's going on down inside the hole when you're drilling. The heat and the temperatures up there are dramatic. To give you an idea, we're going to show the first one when it's gold, like the gold chips. The second one, we're going to heat a little bit more till where it turns blue. That's just before it gets red. We're going to measure the temperature. That'll give you an idea of what's going on down there. This will take a couple of minutes, so bear with us. I like to adjust the torch. In this case, I want it pretty hot. You notice the tip? I like the tip, the two tips just about to come together. And I 
always like to hold it 90 degrees. Not this way, because the heat bounces off. Not that way, not this way, but directly 90 degrees to it. That'll give you a more even heat. So we'll heat this puppy up till it turns a little gold. You with me, Glenn? Oh, yeah. And then we'll take the temperature. Not quite. The reason we're not taking the temperature of a chip is because it cools off by the time it comes out of the hole. But we can replicate it. Open that oven door. That temperature is going to drop off dramatically. Six hundred and thirty degrees. We're not quite there yet. I'm convinced we're pretty much there. almost a thousand degrees. That gives you an idea the kind of temperatures that you have going on down inside that hole when you're drilling. That's why we're talking about it here so you understand it better. And remember, get down from 30,000 feet and think about what's going on in the work area. Thanks for watching.